Joining us this morning, we got some students from Holy Name Catholic School. Uh, we have Henry Trottier, who's from the seventh grade, Annalise Cooper from uh, seventh grade, and uh, I'm sorry, I can't read my own writing. Is it Edie? Okay, Edie Diebolt from 10th grade. Jeffrey Serpin is the acting principal. Thank you for coming, everyone. I appreciate it. Good morning, Craig. Today is Catholic Schools Week, or starts of that, right? So you guys are all fired up and ready to go for some fun activities this week? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Henry, what is today? Today is Red, White, and Blue Day. And you got on Red, White, and Blue, but you also went with the school logo, right? Yes, I did. So you actually had a shirt that's Red, White, and Blue that says Holy Name Crusaders. Yes. Yeah. So, what do you guys got? You got red. I see blue and white. Yeah. Yeah, You got blue. We got red on anywhere. No, I got a cape in my backpack. Of course. What? What's can't got to have a cape, right? Yeah. So over at the high school where you are, Edie, it's a little different, right? So. Yes. Today is dress as a teacher day. The whole group's got to dress like teachers. Yeah, or you have to wear your uniform. So everybody wants to be a teacher. Oh, because they don't have to wear the uniform? Yes. All right, who you dress like? I'm Mrs. Ternowski, so yeah. I have a cardigan and a scarf on. She wears that like every day. Because that's what she does? Yeah. Every day? <laughs> <laughs> Did you steal hers? Nope, I got this from my mom. Oh, there you go. Very good. Well, you look very uh, authoritative. <laughs> yeah, that was the goal. That was <laughs> 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 What's tomorrow? Um, I think it's like Spirit Day or something. Tomorrow already Spirit Day tomorrow? I don't know. Okay. I, I just know this day. All right, how about you? For middle school, I believe it's dressed as your favorite saint. I could be wrong, yeah, though. That's okay. Hilarious. So anybody going to go like uh, Bishop Berriga? Is he not a saint yet, but he's pretty darn close. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it <laughs> is. Right? Hmm? It is your favorite saint or biblical character, so... Who are you going to go as? you know yet? I do not know yet. Okay. You got a favorite character? Favorite saint? Um, probably Saint Cecilia. Okay. Which one is that? Um, patron saint of music. Music? Okay, yes. there you go. Very good. And then Wednesday? Entrepreneur Day. Entrepreneur Day uh, on Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, what are you guys selling? Um, uh, seventh grade, well, each grade does different, you know, projects, but seventh grade, I believe we're doing snow cones and yeah. popcorn, I believe. Oh, food. You went yeah. right for the food. Oh, yeah. You're going to sell out. A lot mm-hmm. of people do. Yeah? Well, they do, a lot of them go for food? Yeah. Okay. Because I remember in the past, some of them were some products of different kinds as well. Yeah, and Craig, it's uh, all the proceeds goes to our sister school in Honduras. So all the profits go to them, and it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to raise funds for them. All right. Have you been practicing your snow cones? Uh, we have not. No. You should, well, I would today, I would say, teacher, we need yeah. to practice our snow cones, yes. and you can eat the products, right? Yeah. Because they I, won't last till Wednesday. I mm. completely agree. There you go. Yes. Thursday. Talent, talent day. Talent. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. What's your talent there, Annalise? Um, I don't have a lot of talents. <laughs> um, <laughs> for the talent show, our class is doing um, kind of like a skit okay. with a song called "Go Make a Difference," basically portraying how we need to stop bullying and to you know just nice. Yeah. So Henry, you're a part of that then, or you got something different? I am a part of that. All right, good. The entire class will be. You feeling left out, Edie? <laughs> <laughs> Only a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Because uh, I'm assuming then Friday is going to be spirit day, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, tomorrow might actually be shirt day. Shirt day? Yeah. We have to wear our house shirts instead of a uniform. How, I don't know what that is. So each our entire school is divided into houses, and each house is based off of a saint. Um, there's St. Christostom, which is the one I'm in, so it's the best. There's St. Ambrose, St. <laughs> Augustine, and St. Athanasius. And we have shirts that correspond with that. Okay. And they're way better than uniforms. I would, just, I would have supposed <laughs> yeah. so, right? Yeah. Um, you guys, of course, will have Saint or Spirit Day on Friday the 2, then, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That is correct. Mm-hmm. All right. Any other activities that uh, you're aware of there, Jeffrey, that they'll be doing this week for part of Catholic School Week? Well, as far as uh, we, we also on Friday have a trivia where we uh, each class has a set of series of questions that they go over, um, and that, that's kind of a neat thing that we do. Um, a, c- a couple of things that, you know, we, 
you want to stay in Catholic Schools Week, but there's a few other areas that I was going to talk that are coming up real short for us. And well, we'll get into those. Well, got we'll it. We'll stay okay. on the on the week here because this is a national event. Yeah, this is uh, it's a big deal. Catholic Schools Week is a really big deal for for us and for all other Catholic schools. And there's a, a lot of activities, a lot of you know going back and forth. It's just a, a celebration. Uh, to celebrate our school uh, and what we do for the community here, and it's it's a lot of fun for the kids. It's really neat to see. And Elise, you're in seventh grade. Yes. So you've been going to Holy Name since kindergarten, maybe. Readiness kindergarten. Yeah. Okay, so mm-hmm. a long time ago, right? Yes. What is it you like about Holy Name? Well, I feel Holy Name has thousands upon thousands of attributes that truly just, you know, just glorify and just it's astonishing. But I feel like my favorite part about holy name is probably thursday mass every thursday i feel like it truly brings our school together as a spiritual family and just truly helps build our relationship with christ okay Mm -hmm. do you have a favorite subject class um probably language arts it's the easiest the easiest you went for the easiest yeah well if it's your favorite they tend to be easy no matter which it is right Mm -hmm. how about you henry your favorite um, part about Holy Name? Why do you like it? My favorite part about Holy Name is that every Friday after convocation, we all stand up and we sing the fight song. Um, and The Crusader fight song? The Crusader fight song. Oh, I don't think I've ever heard that. He just gave me the look like I don't want to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's your favorite part, right? Yes, we sing that every Friday, right. and it just raises school spirit. Do you sing those at the sporting games at all? Do you guys do basketball we, or anything like that? At basketball, I think we sometimes do. Um, when our teams have a lead, we will cheer them on with the fight song. Mm-hmm. Just us in the student section, cheering them all on. Okay. That's your favorite part. How about a subject class? Subject class would... I don't think I have one. Meaning you don't like any of your classes? I like them all. Oh, you like them all. Okay. What classes do you have? We have math, religion, we have science, technology, we have industrial tech, social studies, and I think there's one more, but I can't think of it right now. Well, that's probably the class you're in right now, right, that you're getting out of school for? I'm kidding. Don't worry about it. (laughs) (laughs) Edie, how about you? What is it you like about Holy Name? Um, I'm assuming you've been in it since... No, Early? when I, did you join? I just joined halfway through last year, okay. so I got some of the so ninth public grade. school experience. Yes, you were going to, to public school. Yes, so you were from the area here then. Mm-hmm. Okay, because I know that some of the kids at the high school are from outside the area. So yeah, okay. Um, I would say my favorite part is the community. Going to a public school all of my life, it was it was okay, but there wasn't really a chance to grow with your teachers because there were so many students that you couldn't really get a one-on-one experience. And here, we have only a couple kids per class, so you really get to know your entire class and your teachers really well, and it's really meaningful to be able to have that one-on-one experience. How about a subject? Um, my favorite subject would be history or art. Okay. I really like art and learning about history. We always learned about American history over and over again at my high school, and now we're learning about medieval history and ancient mm-hmm. Rome and stuff, and that's uh, a lot more interesting. No, I found the American history to be much better. I didn't <laughs> like that European old stuff, but that's fun. Um, do you uh, starting to think about what you want to do with your life? Um, I have a few interests in being some kind of like chiropractor, doctor type of a thing or a lawyer because I've always been interested in the law. See, with a history and a love of art, I thought it might be something along those lines. (laughs) Uh, That's good though. Yeah. Yeah. We need more of those kind of people. So Jeffrey, I don't know if you noticed, but none of them talked about any of the classes being their favorite thing, but the atmosphere around the school. Well, you know, the, the atmosphere for my time, I'm just coming on to about seven months being there, and it's a, uh, just like some of the students have said, it's a, it's an, an incredible atmosphere, and it's been a joy to that the Lord gave me this experience to serve in this capacity, and the atmosphere is wonderful. Uh, you feed off the kids' energy, and the, the, the staff has been great. It's just really been something that uh, I've really been thankful for that I had the opportunity to help out the school in this way. Mm-hmm. Edie, um, I don't know this to be sure, um, but since you're one of the older ones here, 
did you go to Washington, D.C. a couple of weeks ago? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, I read some of the comments from some of them that went, uh, they're talking about it was a life-changing experience and, and uh, that they were seeing so many people from all over the country feel like you do. I don't know what your reaction was to it. Well, it's really just emotional because sometimes you forget living in our little Gladstone, Escanaba community that these problems are real and everybody's experiencing them. So to go there and remember what it's important to fight for the lives of these babies, it's really it's really important. And it's just a wonderful experience to be with so many people who feel similarly. It was the March for Life event that happens every year in Washington. Just kind of describe it to me. What did you do? Well, um, we just marched up to the Capitol building and we just all together and people w- had signs and we did too. And it was just, it was really fun and important. So Jeffrey, having those kinds of experiences too, um, being able to, you know, see other aspects of life uh, out in other, you know, Washington is a yeah, big place to go to. Yeah, it just, it, it further, some fun things to yeah, do it too. further, ex- you know, the, it's another experience in education and to see something like that is uh, not something that you know, people from our area get to do every day, and we're very proud to get our, um, we got our eighth grade class involved with it this year as well, uh, so we had a lot of students there, and all of the, the, all the feedback that I got was very, very positive, except for the long bus ride, but yeah. outside of that. Well, you got to keep yourself entertained during those bus rides, right, or do you sleep all the time? <laughs> well, I wish I could sleep the whole time, but unfortunately... It was far too loud and too crowded in oh, there. Oh, there you go. Well, they're having a good time <laughs> then, right? Uh, Jeffrey, uh, you do look for new students all the time, and you got the uh, um, what you call the Little Crusader kickoff that'll be happening next Monday for preschoolers and kindergarten students to be able to register. Yep, it's a it's an event that we're having uh, where we'll have the staff for preschool and kindergartners there, five thirty to six thirty uh, again Monday, February fifth. And it's uh, an opportunity for people in our community uh, who are looking to go to preschool or kindergarten for the come in to meet the staff. There'll be refreshments. It's Think of it as a social open house. And Elise, you said you remember way back then. Um, to a certain extent. To an extent? Yes. What can you tell me? Well, I remember? remember I had a first grade teacher who was the most amazing woman I think I've ever met. Her name is Mrs. Gross. She was truly amazing, and she just really, really focused on the kids' safety and their education and their relationship with God and was truly there to just help the students and just really took on the job of a teacher to an amazing extent. Like, it was it was amazing. I loved her. You talked about a tour, Jeffrey. Um, what will they be able to see? Well, they'll uh, when we say a tour, they'll be able to go through the school, see the different areas of the school, um, and what a, a day, you know, we'll, we'll describe them what a day looks like at Holy Name for a preschooler or a kindergartner. Um, we have preschool three, preschool four, and it's, uh, you know, and then entertain any questions they might have. You know, every parent's different. You know, they some will want to know about more about certain areas. One thing about our preschool program, it actually, they are teachers. Uh, some other preschool programs don't necessarily have teachers in them, but ours are actual teachers. So we, we like to try to use that opportunity to, you know, even teach those populations as much as we can for kindergarten. Edie, uh, you're at the other end of the spectrum. You're the older students, so tell me what your day is like. What do you do at school? Well, every day we start with um, 30 minutes to half an hour at convocation, and our school is really big on community, so that's just a time to, if you have extra homework, to get that done and just visit with everybody in the school. It's really nice. And then we do mass for half an hour, and then we have another 15 minutes to visit and get homework done. And just throughout the day, we have all of this time to just be together as a community, which isn't really normally happening in other schools and it's just really nice okay how about you henry describe your day for me in the seventh grade well every day we typically start off after convocation and we get um our special and usually it's really fun like art or gym and then we just go through all of the rest of the classes of the day and it's just it's really fun getting getting to hang out with all your friends mm-hmm. and yeah. 
So those are two different parts of the school in different locations. Yes. Yep. We have, um, we have, they're very close to each other, but one, the high school is uh, right next to St. Anne's right off the highway. And then there's the, uh, the traditional, the one on 22nd street there, uh, for the pre-K through eight grade school. Um, but they're within a couple minutes walking distance from mm-hmm. each other. How many students in the Holy Name regular and then how many in the high school? It's a uh, total. We have about, uh, about 225 in total between both schools. Okay. Um, and that's broken up. Some grades are smaller or bigger than others. Um, you know, we have uh, some grades that are split because of the size of the students. Um, but it's, like I said, Craig, it's, it's, it's been a remarkable thing for me to be able to go in there and see that atmosphere and see what teachers really do and how they make things function. It's Holy Name is a treasure for our community. And because it is a private school, there is a cost to it, and you have an opportunity to help people out with that. Yes, we uh, right now we have a what we call the uh, New Crusader, like a kickoff. It's a thousand dollar scholarship for new families, and then we also have additional financial aid for people to apply for. So I would not ever tell anybody that um, you know the cost would be a barrier for them. We uh, we have a lot of people who uh, find ways to make it happen and. We have some very generous donors that make that happen, too. Your campaign is called Half Faith in Education Again. Yes, yep, and that's uh, and that's what our kickoff is for that, and we've been going around to different uh, churches in our area and uh, groups and telling them about what that is, and, and people are taking advantage of it. Okay. How's the high school been going? What is this, year three, three, four? What is it? 2021, 2021 is when it started, yeah. Two, so w- three, four, so four. Yep, and well, uh, it's uh, it's it's certainly uh, growing. You know, we had a there was a model that was started. You know, on what the growth would look looks like, and you know, it's obviously is going to take some time. It's you know, the, the high school has been closed since like the mid 70s, so we're uh, we're on track for what what that is, and we're reaching out. We're getting more aggressive uh, in advertising and, and we're getting more calls. We just did a tour with a family uh, last week on Friday. That's very interested. So all things looking up, Craig. How about the uh, elementary school then, the uh, elementary and junior high or middle school? Well, that is, uh, you know, that's where we have, you know, our the incentives. Main, the main thing, yeah. Our, our, yeah, our incentives are, you know, that's one that most people in the area know of. Yeah. And that's How's where, that doing, though? Uh, in, in my seven months, I would say we're, we're doing well. You know, we've, uh, we've, we've only added people since I've been there. So that's, that's a good thing. Well, I, you know, it, it fluctuates, you know, there's sometimes if somebody moves from the area, you know, you never know. Um, but I would think it's a, you know, things are going in a positive direction. We're doing a new marketing campaign, how we're, we're getting to people, getting to some non-traditional populations and trying to just tell them what we, what we know and the goodness that it gives them. I think it's it gives parents an opportunity to, you know, look at a different way to educate their child. In today's environment, I think that's important. How do people find out more about the scholarship program? Well, we can, uh, you know, stop by the school, uh, our website. We, um, we, you know, we do have an active Facebook page that talks about uh, things that are available and events that we're doing. So uh, we're very active in that. Or just make a simple phone call to our office, and we could set up a, a tour for anybody that would like to show up, and that would go over everything from the facilities to financial aid to scholarships and everything included. Very good. Well, have fun at Catholic Schools Week here this week as you guys are celebrating. What's going to happen? Is there anything on Saturday that you guys are doing? Any games or anything that? Well, we were, we were, we were to get the bishop to come down. Or? Well, we were, comes. we were actually this, we were supposed to go tubing yesterday, but the weather <laughs> was not uh, participating, but we're going to, we got a rain check on that. Uh, so we're going to go out to Gladstone and so do to speak, a rain yeah. check, so to speak. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to, um, and, and, and delay that, but that's always a fun event. Yes, it is. Well, hopefully we get some snow, and then you can take the mice fishing, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll s- I don't know if that's going to be <laughs> full parts. <laughs> I know it's a weird, weird weather. Uh, that's for sure. Thank you guys for coming in. We have uh, Henry Trottier, who's in the 7th grade, Annalise Cooper, who is also in the 7th grade, Edie Diebolt in 10th grade, and Jeffrey Serpinen, who's the acting principal. It is Catholic Schools Week this week. Holy Name Catholic School here in Escanaba is celebrating it every single day this week with a different event. Uh, which is your favorite day, Henry? My favorite day, it's hard to choose because I haven't seen tomorrow yet. It'd have to either be Entrepreneur Day 
or the day of the talent show. Because you get to have snow cones, right? Yes. Yeah, or show off your talent. How about your favorite day? Um, Probably Entrepreneur Day. Oh, those snow cones are really popular, yeah. I guess, huh? Mm -hmm. Edie, I know you don't know all the days, but your favorite day? I'm excited for Thursday because each house that we are, have has to do our own little talent thing as a group. What's your talent? Well, we're going to do a comedy skit. I don't know if it's going to be very talented, but we're going to try. But hopefully funny, right? Yeah. That's the goal. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys uh, for coming in, and good luck with the celebration. Right, thank welcome. you, Craig. Thank you. Thank you.